Today we're talking about properties of addition and multiplication. We're going to let A, B, and C be real numbers. When we talk about the closure property, it's crucial that we understand we have to select a single set of numbers, like real numbers, and stay inside it. We can't get out of it, because if we do, it's not closed. For instance, if we use the set of real numbers, then we can use numbers like 2 plus 3. 2 is a real number, 3 is a real number, and we're connecting them with the operation of addition. For this to be closed under the set of real numbers for addition, the result must also be considered a real number, and that's 5. Now you're looking at me funny like, okay, I know that. I know you know that. But let's think about something else. When you look at multiplication, if you have 2 times 3, the product is 6. Since 2 is a real number, and 3 is a real number, and the result is a real number, you never left the set of real numbers, so it's closed. Where is an example of something that is not closed? Let's use the, the set of negative numbers. Okay. If you take negative numbers, then you have negative 2 plus negative 3. The result is negative 5. So negative number, negative number, negative number. It works. Okay, so addition is closed in negative numbers. However, what happens when you multiply, and you don't need to answer just yet. If you multiply negative 2 times negative 3, the result is not a negative number. We all know that a negative 2 times a negative 3 is a positive 6. And so we've now leaped outside of the set of negative numbers. So we would say that negative numbers is closed under addition, but it's not closed under multiplication because it breaks out. It does not stay in the set.